Welcome to Church of the Chair, where aliens enjoy snow globes too. I'm your host E, and today we're reporting live from inside Chester's Mill. If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. In this series, I will be spoiling all of Stephen King's work, so if you haven't read all of his books, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about Under the Dome by Stephen King. The original theorist video I did for the Under the Dome was pretty comprehensive because there weren't many connections. But I did want to point out for this Redux video, my friend Patrick Costin's comment here. I want to talk about this in the comments because also, Patrick, before I go on, I need you to cite your source on where King confirmed it. I, it's not that I don't believe you, but I would love to read either the interview or watch the interview, whatever it may be. The issue I have with this as far as King saying that it has been verified that this is what happens, that Guard flew off to the planet and the alien, you know, traced his path back. First off, why wouldn't they know where Earth was? Uh, why isn't it in Haven? Because he took off from Haven. Chester's Mill is very close to Haven given the Stephen King map. But yeah, I just need some more info here. But the problem I have with this theory, even if King verified it, is the fact that King only wrote the opening cha chapter of Under the Dome, which was originally called The Cannibals, in the 70s. But he put it aside before he ever even got close to the ending of the book. Now, maybe he had it in mind all along, and yes, he would have wrote it before the Tommyknockers, that opening section, I believe it's called The Chipmunk in the Plane or something like that. He wrote that opening chapter well before Tommyknockers, but he never got any farther. So as far as a timeline, there are, there are problems with that because he didn't finish it. He didn't get past the first chapter. But I would love to discuss this down there in the comments section about whether or not you guys think that this theory holds water. Yes, even if King has verified it, we all know how bad his memory is. Anyways, on to the theory. The only theory I have here, other than the fact that Chester's Mill pops up in several other Stephen King books, even prior to the release of this one, I believe, once again, that the Greys are demons from the Prim, and I believe that they have a curiosity, that they do like to come down here to check on us, or maybe it's just a curiosity, hey, where does that thinny lead to? That kind of thing. So... I still think that the demons from the Prim are the aliens in this one. So this one would be considered a gray or an entity like it, if you want to consider uh, Pennywise a proto-gray. Now, does it mean that all of these entities from the Prim have to be evil? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say so because Maturin existed at the same time as Pennywise or the entity known as it and Maturin is a good guy. Why can't there be greys that are good guys? But anyways, talk about that down there in the comments. I really want to discuss this one because other than what I've mentioned, I haven't found any other connections. And in the original video, there were no comments about connections to the Stephen King universe, to the Dark Tower, to any of that. And if you're sitting here wondering, what do, how do the Greys tie in to the Dark Tower? Check out my videos for Dreamcatcher, or It, or Tommyknockers. But that's all the time I have for you today. If I missed anything, if you have any corrections for anything I said in this video, if you have theories of your own, please, please, it's especially important with these books that I have problems connecting down there in the comment section. Also, Patrick, please cite your source. I need to know. I trust you, man, and I need to know where you got that information, even though it has been, uh, it's been two weeks. So hopefully you remember, how, you know, where you got the information. But until next time. All hail the chair.